Hi guys, us again, Delaware everywhere. Well, in our drive anyway, <laughs> at the moment. Right, as I said yesterday, I'm just gonna um, wire up this little 12 volt socket with two USBs on, which um, hopefully will come in handy. So, as I said yesterday, I've already pre-wired it because what I've got is I've got um, a 12 volt connection in the back, which was actually on the light. So all I've done is spliced into that and run a ring round running into the lights so they're all light up I've also put an inline switch on it so I can switch them all as well um, and just basically while I was doing it I let the towel hang down um, with positive and negative any piece of twin um, just ready to take this because I was going to get one so I'm just going to show you how to quickly put this together so that's all it is and uh, just watch cheers right now what I've got is a little array of electrical components you don't have to buy this many, it's just that I do a little bit of this sort of thing now and again, so I thought I'd buy myself the right kit. And I was an auto electrician once, a long time ago. So I've got these crimpers, they're not expensive, you can buy the whole set with a load of fittings off of eBay for about 25 quid. And that includes all your bits that you'll probably ever need. So we've got a positive and a negative. The one thing I have found with these crimpers is they've actually got little marks on them. You've got yellow for obviously yellow terminals, blue for blue, and red for red. But what I have found, when you do do the blue, even though if you double the cable back over on itself and crimp it up, they do intend to pull out. So I kind of knock that all on the head and I just go for the red and I just squeeze the hell out of them on that and they're nice and strong and I've not had a problem. So that's what I do. So, okay, so fitting it up, it's pretty damn simple now. So obviously blue being the negative, going to the black, obviously being earth, or negative as I should say, and then the brown being the positive, going to the red. So that should now be live. Okay, all right, just gonna screw that up onto the wall. I've already checked on the inside to make sure there's nothing to foul on. It's always good to do that. And really small screws, as you can see, it's just gonna go into this backing. So I'm just going to fix that up on there. This is when you need to have about three pairs of hands, obviously. That. And that'll be okay. There's one. Not quite tight up all the way. And then the second one on there. Just need to find the hole. Get away the camera. Okay, that's it, nice and secure. So all we need to do now is uh, stick one of these little gizmos on. You can get these from Screw Fix. You basically got a little backing you put on, which makes it sticky. And you basically put a pull tie through these, and it keeps everything nice and neat and tidy and stops things moving around. So, yeah, by sticking one of them on there as you can see that's how the cables are like that once they're finished and that's what that's what I go through you don't have to do this it's just that I think it's good practice to do it All right, so there you go, guys. That's all it does. It goes through like that, and then you just pull the pull tie up as and when you're ready. I could have shortened these leads, but they sit exactly where I want them. Just like that, and that's it. Jobs are good, and cut that off, and we're good. So I'm just going to test it now. There you go, you can see the little blue lights on top of the USB port. So that's all ready for action now. So now I've got a 12 volt supply in the back of the van with two USBs, which are always handy as we all know. 
So and that's the lights that we just ran around and they're just screwed up. And yeah, it's a lot better. So hope this helps somebody anyway. So I'm going to wrap it up here and uh, say goodnight. Stay safe. See you again sometime. Um, like always, we're not really quite new to this, so thumbs up if you like it or thumbs down if you don't or some sort of comment, as long as they're good, obviously. And um, maybe even subscribe, that'd be absolutely fantastic. So uh, anyway, take care and see you again. Bye.